हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट हाउ आर यू ऑल आई थिंक एवरी वन आर फाइन दियर सो स्टूडेंट टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू बिगेन विथ द पार्ट नंबर टू ऑफ द लेसन यस द लेसन नंबर थ्री द लिटल गर्ल विच इज रिटर्न बाय कैथराइन मैंसफेल्ड ओके सो स्टूडेंट इट इज अ बुक नंबर वन एंड इट इज पार्ट टू एंड हियर वी हैव ग्लॉसरी what we are going to discuss after some times so student here in this part you are going to learn the next part of the lesson and the previous past part was based on x recorder video there you have seen the pages okay some two pages what we have discussed in the previous video and previous to previous what we discussed we discussed the short summary of this lesson with the help of an powerpoint presentation yes or no this is what we have done from last couple of days so student let's begin with the new part of the lesson the little girl so before beginning this part just recall your previous memories what you have known about this lesson let's talk in hindi इस पूरे पाठ्यक्रम में इस पूरे पाठ में एक छोटी सी लड़की है उसका नाम है काजिया क्या नाम है काजिया वो अपने पिता से बहुत ही डरती है वह अपने पिता को बहुत ही गुस्से वाला बहुत ही स्ट्रिक्ट एक बहुत ही क्रुअल और एक बहुत ही बड़ा किस्म का आदमी मानती है वह अपने पिता को इतना बुरा मानती है कि वह अपने पिता से कभी दोस्ती नहीं कर पाई वह अपने पिता को हमेशा कोसती रही क्यों भगवान ने हम जैसे छोटे छोटे बच्चों को पिता समान पिता दिया है क्यों भगवान ने ऐसा अन्याय किया है हमारे साथ पर उस छोटी सी लड़की को क्या मालूम क्या उसके पिता ही उसके लिए सब कुछ है यहाँ पर इस स्टोरी में हम यह अध्ययन करेंगे कि कैसे एक छोटी सी लड़की की दादी ने उसे समझाया उसे बुझाया और कहा नहीं तुम गलत हो तुम्हारे पिता ही तुम्हारे लिए सब कुछ है और पिता के अलावा इस जगत में इस पृथ्वी में इस अकाल में कोई और नहीं है पिता अपना प्यार अपना दुख दर्द कभी प्रकट नहीं कर सकता पर वह जताता जरूर है वह अपना प्यार जताता है ना तुम्हें किसी चीज की कमी होने देता है ना तुम्हें किसी चीज की किल्लत होने देता है तुम्हें हर वक्त तुम तुम्हें जरूरत होने वाली चीजों का दान करता रहता है और तुम्हें उसे सम्मान देना चाहिए पिता अपना प्यार जता नहीं सकता पिता अपना प्यार दिखा नहीं सकता पर जता तो जरूर कर रहा जता सकता है यहाँ पर दादी ये सब बताती है और अंत में आप पाठ में पढ़ोगे कैसी उस छोटी सी मासूम सी लड़की को उसके पिता ने उस पर प्यार जताया और उसे एक बड़ी सी कठिनाई कठिनाई से हटाकर उसे उसे अपने पास बुलाकर उस पर अपना प्यार जताया और दोनों के बीच एक अच्छे संबंध प्रकट हुए और वो संबंध एक छोटी सी बच्ची और उसके पिता के बीच में थे और वह संबंध बहुत ही अच्छे संबंध थे और अंत में एक छोटी सी लड़की द लिटल गर्ल अपने पिता के साथ दोस्ती कर लेती है दिस इज वॉट वी हैव लर्न फ्रॉम दिस स्टोरी इन द शॉर्ट समरी इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वॉट यू हैव लर्न यू लर्न दैट दिस लिटल गर्ल इज सो टेरिफाइंग शी इज सो थ्रेटेंड शी इज एफ्रेडिंग फ्रॉम हर फादर एंड हर फादर यूज टू स्कॉल्ड हर एट एवरी स्पैन ऑफ टाइम बिकॉज शी इज डूइंग अ लॉट एंड लॉट मिस्टेक्स सो वॉट काइंड ऑफ मिस्टेक्स शी डू हेयर दिस इज वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न and why she do mistake and during her mistake what punishment she will get from her father so student don't think about this story just think about yourself what happens in your home when you do mistakes when you do 
okay a naughty things then your father and mother used to scold you when the water flows somewhere above from the limitation of your parents then your fathers take a stick and they start beating you because of your naughtiness and you people start crying very hard okay you don't listen out and you think your father and the mother are the responsible for this and you are not and you don't know about your own mistake but later on you will realized when someone elder in your family okay teaches you good lesson and you will realize it and you say sorry to your father and mother to your parents and your parents okay uh, brings out their own sympathy towards you and they will provide you whatever you needs okay and you make you to sit quietly by giving you a chocolate yes or no this happens with everyone it happens with me also might be it happens with you okay when you are smaller one but now you are also small for your child even i also a child for my parents okay so everyone here who have parents they are a child for them okay so if we do any mistakes our parents have to forgive then no one is there to forgive then we have to give some respect towards them we shouldn't so be okay uh, that uh, pointing them we shouldn't be so telling such a cruel words to them okay we should accept them after all they are what parents so student this is what we are going to learn here in this lesson so let's begin with the part number 2 of the little girl lesson number 3 and let's be started without a further go so student before beginning i would like to say you here please open your textbook and come on the page number 33 on the paragraph number 4th yes here the paragraph number 4th i am reading out here so have your finger tip of index finger somewhere there on the paragraph paragraph number 4th on sunday afternoons grandmother sent her down to the drawing room to have a nice talk with father and mother but the little girl always found mother reading and father stretched out on the sofa his handkerchief on his face his feet on one of the best cushions sleeping soundly and snoring so student you can see this picture how the mother of this little girl is sitting there on the sofa and she is reading she used to do usually the same thing and how the little girl's father okay is sleeping on the sofa and the cushion which we used to keep behind our head he kept th that cushion under his feet and he kept his handkerchief over his face so both are doing resting there so this little girl not getting a time to speak out with their own parents and her grandmother sent her towards the drawing room go and sit your parents and have a fun there but both of them usually read and usually sleep and both of them don't have a time for their little girl so it is a mistake of this parents or also yes or no they should give some time to the little girl yes or no they should okay this is what we have learned in paragraph number 4 yes now comes to the another page page number 34 she sat on a stool gravely watched him until he woke and stretched and asked the time then looked at her okay then what happened this little girl went to the drawing room and she sat on a stool and she start watching out her father what he is doing he was sleeping very deeply and he is taking out some sound from his mouth and he is snoring like oh i am sleepy okay i am a drowsy person so he is telling used to say like this during sleep then suddenly he waked up okay and he looked towards the little girl don't stare so kazia you look like a little brown owl now here the father is making a fun of the little girl you looks like a brown owl so what is a owl owl is a bird so it okay it used to fly in night times and during day time okay it will hang its whole body upside down and it will sleep which one brown owl so don't Uh, see me like this you are looking like a brown owl so the father is making the fun of kazia now one day when she was kept indoors with a cold her grandmother told her that father's birthday 
was next week and suggested she could make him a pin cushion for a gift out of a beautiful piece of yellow silk now what happened the grandmother okay is telling to kazia and it is a time of cold both of sitting together now grandmother tells her plan to the kazia hey you kazia your father's birthday is coming nearer of the nearest so we should present him something to him for that we will make one best and a very well looking a good looking cushion cushion means uh, it means a takhiya hindi mein hum takhiya bolte hain use hum apne sar ke niche rakhte hain sone ke waqt so we should bring a cushion okay we should keep it somewhere under the head and it will give a rest to the head but i don't know what to keep inside the cushion she speak to the kazia and kazia became so excited gift present to my father yes i will help you grandmother tell me what i have to do here kazia says then the fifth one laboriously so student a new word for you okay just watch out here in the glossary portion see in the glossary portion you have the word laboriously what is the meaning of laboriously slowly it means more effort so what is the meaning of laborious a person who do the work very slowly and he takes too much of time and he give more effort of doing any think of doing any work then that person is called laborious person which person laborious person who used to do okay a work and take too much of time now here in the fifth, fifth paragraph laboriously with the double cotton the little girl stitched three sides so the little girl is stitching the cushion for her father and he stitched the cotton of the cushion very slowly 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 in a such a patienceful mind and she is stitching it very slowly and she stitched three sides of the cushion but one side not stitched at all then but what to fill it with then he asked a question with herself what i have to fill inside this cushion can i have anything to fill it and make it fatty so she is asking a question with herself that was the question the grandmother was out in the garden and she wandered into mother's bedroom to look for scraps on the bed table she discovered a great many sheets of fine paper gathered them up tore them into tiny pieces and stuffed her case then sewed up the fourth side then for the time being she asked a question to the grandmother hey you grandmother what could we have to keep it inside their cushion can we have anything but the grandmother was not there she went for a walking outside the garden then what happens to this girl this girl get inside to the mother room and she find here and there she can't find anything then what she will do she goes back to the father's bedroom in the father's bedroom there is one table on the table there is one letter and that letter is very important for father but father is not available to whom she have to ask the permission then what did she little girl little girl did without asking a permission she taken those papers she torn them she tear them very badly and she kept inside the cushion and she stitched the fourth side of the takhiya of the cushion and now the whole cushion became somehow fatty and the gift is ready and this little girl don't bother that i have torn out the father's pages but she is only bother about to gift one cushion to her father okay then what happens the second paragraph of the fifth paragraph that night there was a hue and cry in the house father's great speech for the port authority had been lost finally mother came into kazia's room kazia i suppose you didn't see some papers on a table in our room what screamed mother come straight oh, no oh yes she said i tore them up for my, for my surprise ho oh, what screamed mother come straight down to the dining room this instant okay then what happened so everyone are searching the papers which belongs to the father and she made one present so father have written a very beautiful speech 
okay which he is going to recite somewhere in the port authority so he is finding his speech which is kept there on the table but he is not getting it so everyone are finding here and there and the father was big person a big gent gent means a mammoth person big person okay through by his body so he is finding here and there but he is not getting anything okay anywhere so he became so angry who father became so angry where are my papers who stolen my papers now the now mother became so upset she came straight forward to the kazia's room hey you kazia would you seen the papers which belongs to father and he kept there on the table ha huh, yes i have seen those papers but i torn them yes what why you torn those papers who told you to torn those papers because those paper belongs to father now come with me and let's go to the drawing room and their father will teach you a lesson see student here kazia is too afraid about her own father and her father is going to beat her so what happens next will the father beat her or his father love her this is what we are going to learn then the sixth paragraph so student another okay new word you have learned hue and cry what is the meaning of this word angry angry protest hue and cry angry protest who used to do, do hue and cry here in this paragraph father father of kazia he is crying he is okay screaming because his letter his speech is not getting out so that's why he is crying and hueing okay to find out the speech which he written on the paper okay now the sixth paragraph and she was dragged down where father was pacing to and fro hands behind his back well he said sharply mother explained he stopped and stared at the child did you do that no 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 she whispered mother go up to her room and fetch down the damned thing see that the child is put to bed this instant now what happened see now the mother taken the kazia in front of the father and father was so angry and father asked question hey you kazia did you see in my paper and mother explained each and everything to the father yes kazia seen your paper and she torn those paper and she kept there inside the cushion and that question she wants to give to you during during your birthday but the father is not bothered about this and he wants his papers back and is so angry he became so frustrated by listening this now he asked kazia kazia did you did this now kazia is telling no 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 father i didn't did like this i don't know where are your papers i don't know really now kazia speaks like this now father order to the mother hey you mother go back to the kazia's room and search my papers there i need my papers back now father is calling the mother of kazia and the kazia's mother run back to the kazia's room and she start searching for the papers then the seventh paragraph yes the seventh paragraph crying too much to explain she lay in the shadowed room watching the evening light make a sad little pattern on the floor now the kazia was so upset she became so threatened she is afraid afraiding from her father and mother and she is crying side by side and she is standing somewhere the shadow which is coming outside from the window and it is a shadow there and she is so afraid about it okay and she is watching towards the floor she knows what she did but she couldn't able to bring the strength to tell truth to her father then father came into the room with a ruler in his hand then father got knew that kazia have did this and he bought a ruler ruler means stick to beat kazia then what happens i am going to beat you for this he said who father who oh, no no she screamed hiding under the bed clothes now kazia running here and there and she screaming she is okay in the state of hue and cry she is screaming at all please forgive my father i will not do this mistake again please forgive i am not going to do this mistake because i have taken your papers for your present a birthday present don't beat me don't beat me now kazia is screaming but father is not listening then what happened here 
he pulled them aside now the kazia went beside to the bed cloth and the father holded the kazia and he taken out the kazia and he made her to sit on the stool sit up he ordered and hold out your hands you must be taught once and for all not to touch what does not belong to you so you must told once now don't touch any one's material without their permission then what you did you should be taught a lesson for this mistake now father is telling to kasia then what happened here but it was for your birthday down came the ruler on her little pink palms now the father is asking a palm from kasia palm means her hand but kasia is telling in a crying mood please don't beat me father i have taken your papers because i want to give you a christmas present sorry a birthday present please don't me please leave me as it is but father is not listening he want to teach the lesson to kasia then what he did he taken the ruler and beaten very hard on the kasia's hand so student this is what we have learned from this part which is the part number 2 okay the name of the lesson is the little girl okay which is written by catherine mansfield so student here in this lesson or in this part what we have learned how the kasia got the punishment from his father okay kasia is so pleasing okay to her own father but father is not listening he is ready to give her a punishment so this is what we have learned so student in the coming part we are going to complete the remaining portion of this lesson and for the time being watch this video thoroughly because this video is very interesting and you are going to think about yourself what happens there in your home is is something same situation is there in your home or different one if you do mistake your parents will behave in a same manner or they will okay love you so there is something correlated about your home and the lesson even it happens in my own home also because when i was a smaller one so student where we have discussed okay the glossary portion let's see the glossary portion laborious we discussed you and cry we discussed see a one word is there wandered into it means by chance another word scraps scraps means small pieces of clothes and papers and the kazia is in the search of scraps so she made the papers and turned into scraps and she kept there inside the cushions so this is what a glossary part we have learned here in this video so student please note out the, note down note down this all kind of points in your literature notebook and make make a proper notes for the time being take care and have a nice time see this video thoroughly and this is all about today's video thank you